follow me? So we have, let's draw a picture. So I know it's 20 by 25. And I want to cut squares out of each corner. trying to maximize again? Volume. volume. So my f of x, I'm going to call it v of x, because volume. This is volume. How do you find the volume of this? Length times width times height. I definitely have three variables there. I do not want three. I need one variable. Correct? So what I'm going to do is, what is actually changing this problem? The, of the square, correct? So I'm going to call that x. That's what I'm trying to find, correct? The dimensions of the square. And since it's a square, we know they're the same. So let's think about this. <coughs> if this length is x, so is this. When I fold this up, on all sides, this box, can you picture it? Fold that side up, fold that side up. How wide is that box going to be? 20 minus 2. So initially it was 20, but you're folding this up, folding that up. Okay. Now the length is going to be 25 minus 2x. What about the height? x, because when I fold that up, isn't that exactly the same size as the square? So my v of x is going to be x times 20 minus 2x times 25 minus 2x. It's a very famous problem right there. <coughs> you follow that? So you see I now have only one variable. Yeah. That's usually the hardest part, is getting your function. Here's what I'm trying to maximize. I need one variable. So here, I didn't even need a factoid. Last problem, I needed some other piece of information. Here, I didn't. I had enough to just use one variable. So, let's multiply this out. V of x, maybe x times, let's see, 500 minus 40x minus 50x plus 4x squared. Can I go ahead and combine and distribute at the same time? 500x minus 90x squared plus 4x cubed. With me there, I just combine these to get 90, negative 90 and distribute it. Yes. Now that I have my equation with one variable, what do I do? First root of test. Okay. So v prime is what? calculus on these problems, and I assume you can do that by hand if need be, right? Yes. Let's go ahead and solve that on your calculators. Not one of you picked one up. Let me get that. Chapter 3 test. Can I use a calculator? Like, do the chain rule? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> do we remember how to do this? Nope. Where do you go? Go to menu, algebra, solve, type it in. Now, remember when you put this, a lot of people forget the actual equals zero. That's kind of important you're solving this. But you have to put comma your variables, comma x. You're going to literally be typing this in with comma x.
sure you can use your calculator.
lashes. 